Okay, this is something else that I don't know if it's true or not, but I I think they have made a mistake on our entire sewage system um, with the toilets and whatnot, because I think you're supposed to live in a camp or in a house and bury your waste outside the camp or outside the community. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of what I believe. Um, I think that this flesh-eating bacteria and stuff like that that's um, from raw sewage is growing because they did something wrong. Um, they shouldn't have these big cities with these big sewage uh, tanks and different things, especially if it's standing and stuff like that. But um, I don't know uh, why they have the sewage that they have. Um, I know it uses, uh, and I think they use antibiotics to treat some of this stuff. Like they put antibiotics in our water and stuff like that, which is why we're running into antibiotic resistance because an antibiotic is a mold. It's a sulfur mold, I believe. Um, and which is, again, not good because uh, the sulfur in it, you, you don't want to die a sulfury death. Um, but that's just a guess on my part. Um, but I think that that they have built the cities too big, even the small cities. I think they've built them too big. Like I said, I think that think that the waste and whatnot is why we're getting roaches and stuff like that um, because of the pipes in the city. Um, I'm not against the running water necessarily. I kind of like the running water, but I don't think it should be in a pipe. I think it should be in a brook or a creek or something like that where there's mud. Um, to kind of uh, clean the water where there's stones and mud to clean the water. Um, because I think that sometimes the dirty looking water, um, it's not too dirty looking because of course the, the brook flushes it through, but it's got mud in it too, which is probably good for you. Um, and I don't see anything wrong with drinking a little mud in your water. Um, but I, 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 don't, I don't think you should probably drink a ton of mud in your water but if it's slightly uh, discolored it's not going to hurt you you know it's not it's not full of bacteria and stuff like that that keeps growing and becoming resistant to each other um so I think that they should uh I, do, I don't think they're ever going to do it but I do I one thing I do like about the the toilets and whatnot is because there's good to them too um, one thing I do like about them is the toilet paper is very sanitary. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm looking at, I'm thinking of trying to make cheaper toilet paper, but I have no idea how, of course. Um, that's always what you run into is you have no idea, no idea how to do something you want to do. But I've been thinking about like weird things like plastic toilet paper that's biodegradable and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, I would, I would probably, if, if it was me, I know this sounds very outdoorsy and camp-like, but I would poop in a bucket um, and, you know, take the bucket outside the community uh, to bury it. And uh, I think the bugs would take care of it from there. But I'm very simple, so it's, it's very camp-like. 